What's going on everybody, it's Alex here and today I'm just going to be telling you about uh, why, is it, why it is important to have a backup uh, or secondary filter uh, running on your aquarium. So this is my backup filter, I'm just going to show you from afar. It's very small, uh, it's 168 litres per hour, just to let you know this is a 130 litre tank, so it's, it doesn't even, well it gets through it once. So it's it's very um, low powered, and uh, the only things I have in here are a filter cartridge which I made myself. And if you want to know how to make your own carbon and floss filter cartridges for you know your Aquion filters, your um, Tetra Whisper, whatever you want, you know you don't want to buy their cartridges anymore. You just go check out my video. Um, so as you can see, there's my cartridge, quite a big one. And then I've just got this uh, piece of sponge which goes around here. Um, and as you see the water goes through there so basically um, if you have a quarantine tank or a hospital tank then um, you're not, you're not going to have fish in it all the time because you're not going to need to you know um, only when you buy new fish or you, one of your fish gets sick or whatever then you're going to need to quarantine the fish um, from the rest of the fish so um, you do need some biological filtration, you need some way to break down the fish's waste while they're in the hospital quarantine tank um, but obviously because there's no fish in there well what you can do is you can keep a filter running on there the whole time and keep adding in a bit of household ammonia um, obviously no colours or uh, perfumes but you just add in a bit of household ammonia you can use fish flakes just add in a few but when they decompose they decompose um, into phosphates also which is a uh, um, algae nutrient, so you can just use ammonia, you can add that to the filter to keep it all seeded and the bacteria alive, or what you can do is what I'm doing, you can buy a little filter like this, and if I need to, I've got my little tank down there which I could quarantine a fish in, you can just hook this straight up to that tank, and because it's been running on an established tank, it'll have this the good bacteria already in it. Um, so because it's been running on an established tank, has the good bacteria um, already there and you don't need to uh, worry about it not being cycled or anything so um, yeah so I just wanted to make a video about today quick short video and again you should probably go check out my uh, video about how to make your own filter cartridges um, especially if you have a hang on back power filter I know they're very popular uh, in the United States um, everybody has them um, right now I'm using to show you I've got canister 305 and then in my tropical tank I've got 306 and then in here I just got a really cheap internal filter which is my bait is going to be arriving in the next day or so um, but hang on back filters are very popular over in the United States and you have to buy replacement uh, floss you know little tetra call them bio bags um, top fin call them filter cartridges um, basically what they are is their filter floss with carbon in the middle and how you make it is uh, you just literally uh, get some filter floss, put the carbon in and then use some staples um, and I'll show, I'll, there is a full tutorial as I said, I've made a video about how to make your own uh, filter cartridges replacement for any size filter, you can cut it to whatever you want so uh, yeah, be replacing that next month and I've got a couple more made back here just to show you, this is one I made earlier obviously you've got the carbon in the middle and then the rest is floss and I've just gone around the outside with staples and there's your little bio insert and you can make it to whatever size or thickness you want really um, so yeah that's the importance of keeping a secondary filter on your tank just to you know you don't know when you're going to need it um, and if you have a filter that's like bigger than mine it is actually enough to support this tank say this one goes wrong or something and you have to send it back to get a replacement then at least you've still got something there which is going to save your fish so um yeah, it's just some benefits of having a secondary filter running, even if it's just a small one like this, you know, a cheap one. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. If you could like this video, uh, be sure to comment any questions, feel free to ask. Um, and if you could check out my channel, check out my other videos, and be sure to subscribe.